In this video tutorial, we're going to learn a quick and simple way to color separate spot color bitmap or logo designs working in CorelDRAW to monochrome bitmaps. Very quick and easy. Now, sometimes you want to send this to a power trace, but when you've got really small text like this, the power trace very often won't give you a very clean result, whereas going with the actual monochromes will give you a better result. We want to be at size for the print at 300 dpi to get a nice clean output in our film from our monochrome bitmaps. And we also want to be aware of the fact that here in this image we have anti-aliasing. And you can see that right here and we're going to want to get rid of that. And we'll do that when we convert to the monochrome bitmaps because these will come out as half-tone dots and the graphic won't look very clean. It'll look kind of choppy with the half-tones on the edge where the anti-aliasing is. Over here I have the actual logo design separated into monochrome bitmaps. There you can see the red. If you zoom in you'll notice that the anti-aliasing is gone. Now this may look a little jagged but it'll print as clean as vector as long as it's 300 dpi. Now monochrome bitmaps are very interesting in that they have spot color properties so you can use pantones or whatever. Now the interesting thing is that they're reversed from vector. So your background color is a left click or the fill. If I come here and click on this blue, the background of the monochrome bitmap will become the blue or the fill. I'll come up here to the X in the color palette and left click will make that transparent. But if I right click on a color, I'll change the foreground color and I'll hit Control Z to go back. So those are your monochrome bitmaps and I'll select both of these and hit C and E to center them again. Now, to get started to do the separation, it's very simple. I'm just going to duplicate this object, so I'll left click, hold down my left mouse button, right click one time, duplicate that. Then I'm going to come over here to my Smart Fill tool, and I'm just going to click on that bitmap, and that'll make a rectangle that's exactly the shape of my bitmap. I'll come up here and right click to remove the outline. Then I'm going to go to the eyedropper tool, and we'll start with the red. I'll click here, fill this with red. And then I'm going to go to the Transparency tool. I'm going to come up here to the Blend Modes, and I'm going to change that to Divide. Now, even though this is Cyan, that's going to be my blue. Then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go back to the Pick tool. And I'll click off, and I'm just going to hold down Alt. And all I have to do is just swipe across this. I'll select both objects. There's a little trick for you. Hold down Alt, and then slide across your objects. Holding down your left mouse button, you'll select all the objects that are behind that object as well. I'm going to duplicate this again right over here. I'm going to click off, and I'll click and select that bitmap. I'm going to go back to the eyedropper tool. I'll get the blue here. Come and fill that with the blue. Now I've got my red. Now I'm going to take this, and I'll click off, hold down Alt, select everything here. I'm going to go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, 300 dpi, RGB, no anti-alias, no transparent background, select OK. Now I'll do the same thing here. I'll hold down Alt and just swipe across there with a selection. Get both of those objects, bitmaps, convert to bitmap, 300 dpi again, RGB. Now here I'm going to go bitmaps, and then I'm going to go to mode, black and white. Now by default, it's set here. At 129, it won't show up because it's too light. But if you bring the threshold up, it'll show up, and there it is. Select OK. Now that's a monochrome bitmap. Now I'll do the same thing here with the red. Bitmaps, mode, bitmaps, mode, black and white. And I'll select OK. Then I can go over here, I'm going to make the background transparent. Go back to the eyedropper tool, I'm going to select the red. Now if I come in here, I'll change the background color. I don't want to do that. I want to get the square symbol right here. That's the outline color. And that'll change that. Then I can hold down Shift, go back to the eyedropper. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I want to go back to the Pick tool and select this. Then I have to go back to the eyedropper, get the blue, come back over till I see the square right there. Now that's the blue. Come up here and make the background transparent with a left click. And then I can go back to my pick tool, hitting the space bar, and I'll select both of these, holding down Alt, 
and I'll go C and E, and there's my monochrome color separation. Using the divide mode and the colors from the spot color logo to create the spot color separation. And we look in here and we can see we don't have any anti-aliasing. And because this is at 300 dpi, it'll print as clean as vector. Very easy and quick to do. Using the transparency tool and converting to the monochrome bitmaps in CorelDRAW. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.